So, um, yes, yeah, so, I mean, I think that, that the characters really undergo, each one of them in their own way, undergo some, some pretty marvelous transformations. Mm -hmm. um, what are you hoping that our audiences will take away from, from seeing this piece? It's, uh, we've been told uh, in previews uh, uh, so far, we had a preview on Mother's Day, interestingly enough, and this is a play about women, uh, about the role that mothers play in the family and the importance of that. Um, and uh, I think they have been quite moved by this. A number of people have told me that they found the play extremely powerful for them, and uh, uh, they were deeply moved and, and uh, excited by what the event was for them. Um, I'm really happy about that. And also, I, I think it, it's rare to find a contemporary play that is patriotic in the way that this play is uh, patriotic. Um, not in a kind of knee-jerk way, but in a way that uh, asks us all to take responsibility for the actions around the world, take responsibility for the freedoms that we enjoy, and that's what certainly the Latino community uh, has done uh, through uh, emigrating to this country and, and by maintaining their uh, uh, heritage and understanding that, connections to that. Um, but also, uh, our, just every American's uh, responsibility to uh, to their adopted country, since all of us are immigrants in one way or another. Yeah. So, Minneapolis, 2001, Cuba, 1961, and, and then occasionally in Afghanistan. So, um, so that's a pretty, pretty wide range of locale. Mm -hmm. So, um, how will you and the cast be taking us to these places, kind of visually and imagistically and culturally, and how will we see that come to life on stage? We have a, uh, Robin Roberts is our scenic designer, and she has done a wonderful job, I think, uh, uh, making that journey for us uh, part of the experience, and kind of an exciting part of that experience. We have lots of moving sets and lots of things that help us go from one location to the other. We're also helped by music, in this case, very rich musical heritage, uh, Cuban uh, music, and uh, from the early 20th century. It's spectacularly beautiful and uh, helps us uh, by evoking uh, a sense of uh, Cuba, a sense of romance, a sense of the kind of mystery uh, that the play has. Um, yeah, it's, it's quite, a, quite a journey uh, through our designers and through our actors. Our actors, uh, after one of the previews, um, one of the audience members uh, asked why not all of the characters in the play got up and took a bow. And um, the truth of the matter is, uh, there are only six actors. They are pretty powerful six actors, and they all play a, a variety of roles. And so it feels like there's a stage full of characters, uh, and actually it's just six actors making all that happen. Wow, that'll, that'll be great, I think, for audiences to see. I think it's really fun. And, um, and, and it's, you know, it's interesting. So we're seeing this same set of six actors playing I mean, two separate generations of, of family, um, but within their own family. I think um, lots of times we think, in, when we're younger, we think, oh gosh, don't let me become my mother. You know, yes. don't let me become my parent. And then later, when we gain a real respect for our parents and who they were, we think, gosh, you know, thank goodness I have those qualities of my parents. And, and as your cast members are transforming from one generation to another, um, can you talk at all about how the generations echo themselves, you know, how Sonia when she's younger and Sonia when she becomes older, how she is much like her mother and how those relationships play out? The playwright, who is a um, Cuban-American uh, actress and playwright uh, from uh, the East Coast, um, I think has done a wonderful job of echoing generations of uh, struggle. Uh, and so that when we go back in time, we begin to hear a lot of the same arguments. I think most of our audience would uh, you know, sort of recognize that, uh, that we have the same kind of, our parents had the same arguments with their parents that we have uh, with ours. Uh, they're kind of struggles or, or um, uh, you know, power plays that we have between uh, generations. And she has echoed that uh, in such a way that we recognize as, a, as an audience and are excited really to see that um, the misunderstanding is passed out from generation to generation and that it can be solved by actually talking to each other, listening to each other, opening ourselves up to, to our parents and, uh, and to our children, for that matter. But, and you mentioned that Melinda Lopez, who's the playwright, uh, is also an actress, and I think mm -hmm. that that's a really important note. Can you talk a little bit about 
um, how you feel the fact that she's an actress has really informed the quality of the writing of this piece, because I think it's made a big difference, yes? You know, an actor that is a writer really understands, a good playwrights do anyway, but uh, uh, really understands that we speak in uh, thoughts, in impulses. We don't necessarily speak in uh, nice, complete uh, sentences, believe me, uh, I, I'm, I'm a professor, I'm a teacher as well, so I understand that I don't always sort of uh, complete my thoughts. Um, and that we do that in life. And she's found a really uh, intriguing way to have characters speak in little bursts of energy sometimes, especially um, when they are confused, when they are uh, trying to find an answer. They keep um, you know, struggling to find that and in little short bursts of dialogue. She has some very um, elegant and eloquent, um, um, rather poetical uh, language also in the play, uh, and that is uh, gorgeous and, and I think speaks to her uh, Latina uh, roots. But um, uh, in this case, uh, I think she's found the kind of um, language that makes sense for both modern audiences and also uh, when, we take, when she takes us back to the 1960s. So I hope that you'll join us here at San Jose Rep for this production of Sonia Flew, so aptly directed by Rick Sear. Thank you very much. Thank you. And uh, it's in performances already and will be playing here at the Rep through June 6th. Thanks, Rick. Thank you.